So I am interested in trying to find the area of this shaded region of the circle right here. So there's a couple of steps I'm going to do to solve this, but I'm going to think about it this way. Uh, so first off, I'm going to figure out the area of the whole wedge. What would that be? And then what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, the wedge looks like this. And then what I can do is I can subtract off the area of this triangle right here. So it's basically the area of the wedge minus the edge of, area of this triangle gives me the area of just that little uh, part of the edge of the circle. So let's do it a piece at a time. So area of the wedge. Um, well, the area of the whole circle is uh, pi r squared. So that would be 8 squared times pi because the, the radius is 8. But I don't want the whole circle. I only want a fraction of the circle. And this 50 degrees tells me what fraction of the circle I want because the whole circle is 360 degrees. So if that's just 50 degrees, I want 50 divided by 360. So notice that fraction of the circle times the area of the circle. That'll give me the area of the wedge. And then what I want to do, so that'll be some number. I can just do that in my calculator. And then what I want to do is subtract off the area of just the triangle. So I'm going to have to do a little work to get the area of that triangle. So let me lift that triangle out of there. This is 8. This is 50 degrees. And this is how I'm going to find its area. I know the, the area of a triangle is 1 half uh, the base times the height. And uh, so here's the base. So what I really want to find is that height right there. So what I can do now is just think about just taking this part of the triangle, this left-hand part. Notice that's a right triangle. So that means that I can find this height using a little bit of trigonometry. And if I think about this angle, 50 degrees, notice this is opposite and this part's adjacent. Um, I'm sorry, this is opposite and this part's adjacent. And this adjacent is one half of the whole side, right? Because I dropped that down and it cut it in half. So I know that this is four and I know that this is opposite. So that means that tangent of 50 degrees is opposite over adjacent. I'll just call this h for height. Opposite over adjacent. And to solve this I could multiply both sides by 4. So my height is 4 times the tangent of 50 degrees. That's what my height is. And my base is 8. So that means the area of the triangle then would be 1 half times the base times the height and the height is 4 times tangent of 50 degrees. There's a lot there. It pulls on a lot of old skills, you know, a lot of um, pulls on some trig, pulls on um, dropping that high, uh, dropping that altitude down, finding the area of the wedge. But again, area of the wedge, that's this part, minus the area of just the triangle that's in the wedge. That's this part. And if I put that in my calculator, then that will, um, I could do it a piece at a time. I'm just going to put the whole thing in my calculator at the same time. And that will give me the answer. So 50 divided by 360 times 8 squared times pi minus um, 1 half times 8 times 4 times tangent of 50 degrees. Make sure I'm in degrees for this. And I get about 8.857. So that would be the area of this right here, whatever my units are. So 8.857 square units, right? Because it's area. So if this was feet, that would be this many square feet. All right, uh, those problems are a lot of good work. But if you break it down into those little pieces, area of the wedge, fraction of the circle, Area of the triangle, a little bit of trig to get that height, um, and then do that subtraction, you should be in good shape.